Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but mainly my subscribers. Thank you all for sticking with me. The channel's growing. It's growing again, thanks to you. So, just goes to show, stick by it. Don't deviate left and right. And things will improve in the end. But, if you're watching this video right now and you've not yet subscribed, I'd like to know why not. It's free. But it's not freedom of speech, is it? Yes, I'll be going across to my Rumble channel today and doing a non politically correct talk over there. You can come and listen to. I will put the uh, the link pinned on this video. Right, right. For the last few days, I have not been able to get into my Hotmail account because what happened with my Hotmail account was I gave over the stuff from my Hotmail account to a fraud investigation who actually had the password of my account and they were keeping an eye on it for individuals who had been sending out fraudulent emails who had hacked my account. So there we go. So I'm now into that again, which uh, came as a little bit of a shock this morning because whenever I went back in and security code and they sent me a pin and I pinned it in and I identified it, I think I had over 500 emails in there. 500 emails. Uh, thank you to everyone that sent me emails. Uh, I haven't read them all yet. I'm being honest. This morning I've read about 30 or 40. It's uh, crazy. So uh, thanks for the continued support. It means a lot. People ask me questions about, Trevor, can you talk about this? Can you bring up this topic? Can you bring up this topic? And it's usually about the royal family. Uh, as I said before, I don't want to keep my videos geared towards one particular topic which hundreds of YouTubers seem to do and seem to get away with it with no, with no restrictions. Um, but I was sent a message by uh, a good YouTuber. I'm not going to mention names. And it seems that there is someone on Twitter who just constantly lives in the head of other YouTubers. And I've got to be honest, I think it's a female, in my opinion, judging by what I've read. And they just attack people. They attack lots. Now, listen, I've never met Yankee Wally. Never have. I fell out with her a long time ago, not because she had done anything wrong, but because other people had planted seeds in my head. Once you get rid of that shit out of your head and you're trying to focus on what's right, uh, she's never done anything wrong to me. Uh, there's, a, there's lots of YouTubers out there that have done nothing wrong to me. But I speak to you about, if I'm honest, probably about 10 YouTubers and I keep it focused but there's YouTubers that don't like other YouTubers and, and it's not for my job to point it out but it, you know if you don't like them just don't subscribe block them but what you shouldn't do is go onto another social media platform and just constantly attack them 24 7 it's fucking pathetic but it is what it is people you know right if you didn't know the fuck here, here we go. In the UK, there's an issue. There's an issue with the fact that our homelessness are homeless, the fact that our veterans aren't getting housed, the fact that there's suppression on us all, that to, to, to pay more money out to the government and to bills, while other people are arriving on our country for a free pass with a British passport and everything handed to them. And it seems wrong. And it is wrong. Uh, taxpayers are under pressure. Pensioners are fucking struggling. And the rest of us are just going, well, what do we do here? And the, re the reason behind all this, uh, and I, I want to point this out, I do not blame anyone coming to the UK for a free pass because our politicians have made, it that, have made it that way. So the politicians are to blame in the UK, massively. But it's now coming out that if Labour... Now, I know Conservative Party, uh, no one likes Conservative, but no one likes Labour. But what's the alternative? Reform, maybe. Reclaim, reform. An another party needs to come in and, and change things up. But... Labour have, are making it quite clear that if they get into power, they're going to scrap sending migrants back. So that should be a lesson for us all, not to vote Conservative and not to vote Labour. We need an alternative party. There we go. Right, and if it wasn't that bad enough about this Netflix documentary with uh, the hostage and the handler, there's a new documentary coming out on New Year's Eve about inspired leadership and leaders the document harry has said the documentary was inspired by nelson mandela but you know who he hasn't mentioned 
him and his wife haven't mentioned in the documentary about who the Queen, Queen Elizabeth doesn't get a mention about leadership. It's all based on false narratives by two people that are uneducated that are just going around like lunatics trying to earn a few pound by bad mouthing people. There we go. Talking of different things to do with politicians. Is it Les Anderson? Lee Anderson? Lee Anderson? Lee Anderson's been having a dig at Gary Neville, telling Gary Neville, listen, don't talk about politics, it's not your job. I'm thinking, really? A politician telling one of his constituents not to talk about politics? Terrible. Gary Neville criticised him, and, and rightly so. Gary Neville, you know, he's got a platform with over 5 million people follow him on Twitter. He can criticise things. Uh, but Lee Anderson did say to him, Gary, if you've got an issue with the way I'm running things, put your money where your mouth is. Stand up against me and take my seat. If not, shut up and put up. So he has called Gary out. So this should be interesting. Let's see what happens there. Yeah. Mustn't forget the mention. It's sad news again, people. It's sad news. There was a mass shooting in Canada. Six people dead. Shame. Wasted life. Shootings. Shootings are shocking. What a shit time to lose someone in your family coming up to Christmas. All those young kids last week, the week before. And... <sighs> President Putin has now been showing people, ready? Listen to this. Well, he's filmed it. Let other countries see it to scare them. President Putin launches the world's biggest supersonic plane which can carry nuclear bombs. Maybe that needs destroyed, in my opinion. There we go. And I'm sure it's going to come soon. Now, I don't want this to come across racist, so please pin your ears back and make sure you understand the wording. China, right now, has just stated that over 800 million of their citizens has caught COVID in the last 90 days. Think about that number. 800 million. Now, in order to protect our own national interests, surely we should be stopping all planes coming from China. Should we not? In fact, the world should be standing united and going, stay there until you sort your shit out. Do not fly. And don't be flying to China. Don't fly to China. They still haven't given us £25 million pounds worth of PPE that we ordered. And at the same time, we're paying prisoners £3.50 a day to burn on used PPE. Hmm. Can't, can't figure out this, but it's true. Well, people, listen. I'm going to go and do a wee bit of chilling today, actually. I was going to go and buy the paper. I haven't seen the news today. I've read bits which I've just told you about. But listen, thank you very much for those that continue to stay on this channel. If you haven't subscribed, check your notifications. Make sure that you have not been unsubscribed by YouTube. And uh, get back in. We are going to grow. And we're going to get bigger. Thanks for your support, by the way. Take care.